coming this season on Team Baborn. <gasps> We've run out of berries. No, Gnair died of hunger. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, wow. That bad water is ruining absolutely everything. And the poor beavers, they're, they're all contaminated. What am I going to do? Right, so now that we've unlocked this, we can contain the bad water and thrive. Hulk beavers, assemble! Hey, we can conquer the world with flying beavers. Fantastic. And here we are in Team Baborn. Team, Team Baborn, trying to get the tea puns in there. Update number five. Thank you very much to the devs that have sponsored this video. I am so excited. I am hooked on Team Baborn. I've been playing it absolutely any spare second I've got the last couple of weeks. We are starting off with the Foxtails. Foxtails. Folktales, Biffa, rookie mistake. They're beavers, not foxes. Yeah, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> We're going to pick the Waterfalls map. I've run a few tests on this map, and there is some great features. We can see in here the bad tide, the bad water. This is going to be a challenge. Normal difficulty to start off with. And are we going to last even one episode? Let's find out. And the name of our new settlement, thank you to Brucey Boy on the Discord there, is Kettleborn. I'm uh, loving that name. And here we go. Here's all our lovely beavers <laughs> getting ready to build their colony. And we'll have a look over here. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Here's all the bad. Oh, look at that. We've got all the underground bad water. So as well as the droughts that are going to be happening on a regular occasion. We now have bad tides as well. You think this is going to stay good water forever? No, it's going to be bad water at some point. Let us uh, meet the beavers. So all of these beavers have been named after my lovely patron supporters. Thank you for your support. Nicholas Ratterman, I'm not quite sure. I think they're beavers. Dead a lot. Is that some sort of foreboding? Bevan Fedarko, my most long-standing, best patron supporter ever. Thank you to all of your lovely patron supporters. I'm Carl and Charles down here as well, all led by General Kenobi. So we are going to build some roads out of here. So that's going to come all the way down to here. And I feel like I want to go all the way over here and all the way over. Oh, we've got like a little thing we can go there to get up to the next platform as well. Then we want to make sure that we get plenty of food. So we're going to put in a gatherer's flag. Does that fit in? Maybe. We'll see. They, they can build that. We're also going to make sure that we mark all of these trees to be cut down and we'll plop in a lumberjack. So they are going to cut the trees for us and then we want to make sure that we're getting the water so we've got our water pumps which are going to go along here now of course as the game goes along i've got a picker picker mod by the way picker there we go got the path as the game goes along we are going to find that this is going to turn into bad water and we've got to be super duper careful that we're not um causing problems and sucking up the bad water that would not be good at all i'm going to put some storage right behind that there we go excellent what are you doing oh it's night time we look up here so this is daytime this is night time and i've got a mod that shows night time as daytime <laughs> oh look that's so cute there we go they're all back to work again just looking at this over here so these are pine trees seven days to get the pine resin oh 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 i'm just wondering whether instead of cutting those trees down we mark these trees to be cut down instead zoink because they're all dead anyway um will that one there reach that it will reach some of them and then these here will deselect these from being cut down and in fact save them Boink when we get a tapper shack or something like that what's that going to be forester gear workshop paper mill printing press tapper shack Ooh. we need a lot of science for that well they might be chopped down a little bit sooner we'll see but i'm going to put another lumberjack flag in over here let's squeeze you up the side there who are you sat down there being lazy bevan oh my most long-standing patron being lazy i tell you what you can do for us you can start working on the science boink get building that and we are gonna oh i'm gonna make the priority up a tiny bit on that one. Oh no everybody's so thirsty well why aren't you building this what do we need okay i'm upping the priority on that one and that one just to get that done and i'm gonna up the priority on the wood collection it started already okay it's happening everybody stay calm i'm gonna make that like the biggest priority is getting the wood from over here we've got my <laughs> minus 11 well-being so overall we want to keep our well-being up uh yeah being thirsty is not very good having no shelter well we're going to get to that when we chop some wood oh oh hey we're done excellent carl martin is saving the day with the water so they're all going to run in and grab the water and just drink it straight from the horse's mouth 
that doesn't sound right at all. And then when this is built, they'll be storing it in there. So the logs are coming. The logs are coming. Excellent. And it's done. We can start storing of the water. Another morning and the science is in. TD Mike is working on our science. Right. I would like them all to have somewhere to sleep. At the minute, they're all sleeping on the floor. We have lodges and these can hold three each. We have 10. So we need that many. And then any spaces that are left afterwards will help to um, facilitate the gaining of more beavers. Anybody without a job? You've got no job. Okay, well, what we're going to do then is we're going to give you a job. Lumberjack. There we go. Get that done. Get that filled. And then we should have everybody with a job. Excellent. Here's Rajan. Keep on going with those logs. We need them to build every single thing that we're trying to build, which is a lot of things. Oh, we've got one. Thank you very much, Rajan. We've got one shelter in. Already filled up. Nicholas, dead a lot. I hope not. And Dino Yoshi have somewhere to live. Oh! we've increased we're now at level four with our beavers which is absolutely fantastic the shelter took them over the top which is brilliant well i tell you what we're going to do is we're going to get more science going that is something that is extremely important for unlocking stuff like this i want to unlock some stairs because that we can then head across here and start grabbing some of the lovely items there who's that dino yoshi has got straight in with our science thank you kindly because then what we can do is we can grab our stairs can i place them without unlocking them no <laughs> i can't all right well, what we'll do is we'll plan we'll have a path we'll have a stairs we'll have a path we'll have a stairs and then we'll have a path this is almost like i've completely planned this out in my head i haven't we want to get rid of that mark resources for destruction there we go and then we've got access to all of this and we can have another gatherer flag over here. And then we'll pop a little storage in there. And we'll have this all just ready to go once they get over here. So everybody going to bed. Everybody got a bed to sleep in? You have, which is excellent. Um, but we need more beds, don't we? Because we want to expand. Now, we can place these on top. But until we've unlocked these, which are even more science. Oh, we've got the science for the stairs. Distraction, distraction. But let's place stairs there they take planks okay we haven't made the planks yet let's maybe concentrate on one thing at a time lumber mill yeah does that need power it needs power oh my goodness we're, we're suddenly getting into a whole level of something different so i'm sort of thinking what's going to be the best way to get power we've got some options we have the water wheel which you place in the water and it gets power from the water running through it so that one gives us 135 hp per cms what the heck is that <laughs> i don't know what that is and then we get a power wheel which just gives us oh that's probably something to do with the movement of the water isn't it and i think that could be quite good where do we want to be beaver this? where do we want to beaver this thing where do we want to build this thing because then we've got to get the power out of it with these and this is sort of below the level there which means we'd have to use this one which would need another 80 science we do have science so it might just be that we put that up against here and use some of our fertile land we, we are, we're not short on fertile land are we famous last words we're going to pop that there we're going to pop that there and then we've got to unlock these oh no these take planks as well and they take gears no we're just not gonna be able to do that for now all right forget it we're going to use a wheel of fortune instead which is one of these and we'll just pop that up against there and this will probably all get changed later there's there's method in my madness i think possibly i don't know what i'm doing half the time and this will be a temporary place where we can oh it's not even up against the path what am i doing i thought i put it up against the path um so now i'm wondering whether we are going to unlock the stairs because i'm going to forget at some point so that's going to go there and that's going to go there so once our planks are done we can get across here oh who is going to be our first wheel of fortune <laughs> person if i just up the uh thing on this Gnair! thank you very much Gnair. we need you working over here to get the power going so we can make the planks drought approaching uh, do you know what i am glad that i have prepared for the drought we've got like 201 water they're still why are you unhappy what's the hunger what we've got the berries we've got no berries <gasps> we've run out of berries we need to get this done we need more berries i'm gonna put another gatherer flag uh, over here and we're going to keep that as a higher priority thank you scorpion and then we just need the planks for the stairs i'm just wondering whether we could remove what have we got in here but you know what i'm going to get all of these i'm going to not pause that you go back and work in there we're going to cut all of these trees 
because eventually this is all going to end up as a farm and food and stuff like that. We still haven't got a farm in. What am I playing at? I'm relying on all of these berries. We've got one stair in. Well done. And it's night time and we need this one to get the logs and the plank. Four planks. Four planks. Rajan and there, the survival of the colony is down to you. We've got 0.8 of a day before the drought kicks in. Ah, oh, the stairs are in. They build it. Who is this? Who is this that's saving our bacon? Archangel. Um, no goods in stock. We'll get that one going. We probably don't have. We've got three spare beds, so we will get people coming in very soon. But come in now after the night is the drought. So let's just see how this affects everything. Uh, the water source from up here has just stopped. <gasps> And the bad water is being pushed this way. Okay, we are pausing our water pumping. No, they're going to walk across there and get contaminated. Oh, I did not consider that. Oh, thank goodness for that. It's dried up before. Did anybody get contaminated? Well, we know they're hungry. I think everybody's okay. <gasps> Gnair is dead. No, <laughs> what happened? No, Gnair died of hunger. Things are not going well. Oh my goodness me, this is not good. Okay, that is 100%. Get those berries in before it all dies. There's only 1.6 days of drought left. And we should get enough food going there. I need to get a farm in. This is nuts. <gasps> We're down to seven beavers. Oh my goodness me, how did I not get a farm in sooner? This is a disaster. Let's just slow things down a minute and just think, what the heck are we doing? And I know we can't really grow much at the moment, but when the drought ends, uh, we can. And we're going to plant some crops and it's just going to be carrots. Carrots, carrots, and more carrots. What have I done? What have I done? No, just before my very eyes. Bev, oh Bev, I'm so sorry. Is there any... Oh, yeah, there is. Look, there's... Right, I'm going to get another gatherer flag over here. And just get that done and get that filled. We've got spare beavers. Probably not got spare beavers. Oh, I completely forgot we got these ones over here. The drought has ended, which is good. If we just bring that path all the way through there, get another pick a picker on the gatherer's flag, pop that in. High priority, high priority. The water will be coming back. The water's flowing through. Look at that. Come to save our bacon. And now they can start planting all of this once this is made. It's made. Dead a lot. <laughs> Dead a lot survived. Uh, and we've got these over here. So if we can please get that done, we can get that food. How long do carrots take to grow? That is the other question. Oh, well being of five. I don't know why they're so happy. They're starving. Four days. Is this enough to last four days? I really hope so. There's some more that have come back. So how do they. 12 days 12 ah, oh, and some of them weren't grown so some of them are probably halfway through growing so what i would like to do is prepare um prepare our ground here to try and lift this water up a bit so we can see the water flows there's a lot of gap up here so we can build that uh water up higher that was not the right words to use but you'll see what i mean in a minute we can use our landscaping and we have dams that we can build in here and if you place one of these the water will fill up to the top before it runs over which means it will be it will stay higher for longer which is good and i'm thinking is there like a short place across here i mean these are going to take 20 wood each we're going to put two there 100 for sure they probably can't get to those at the moment we'll we'll worry about that in a minute and then we're going to just got to go across here i think that is a lot of logs. Can they reach those? Too far from the district cannot be reached. That would be because they need paths. Yep, yep, yep. Waiting for material. Waiting for material. I think these two here need to have the priority up and maybe stop the dirty water backing up. What was that under there? Oh, underground ruins, of course. This is all like the scrap metal that we can grab. Then we can stick a mine on there sometime in the future. Oh, how's the food doing? Uh, no food again. Oh, we have got food. Look, we've got carrots. We've got no storage for carrots, have we? Let's just ease, ease back just a second. We're going to go for a medium warehouse over here. That is going to get high priority, and that is going to store the life-giving carrots. Because beavers love carrots, of course. Look at them. They're so hungry. Please don't just eat them out of the field. Please make sure you... Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, you can store some in here, can you? You can store some in here. You can store 50 in there. Okay, that's fine. So maybe that doesn't need to be super high priority. Well, you can get that done when it's done. Or oh, nearly all the trees gone. Plenty of things to collect. 
and there's no one in there collecting them. Is that already? If I put that on high priority, who are we stealing? We're stealing a farmer, aren't we? If I put that up, we get, oh, we get three in. <laughs> I'm going to put it up to that and try not to worry too much. So I've just realized here in our main district center, because we've got this at a lower priority, we don't actually have anybody doing the work in here. We should have at least somebody. I'm going to high prioritize that. Take care. What are the jobs that everybody's doing? Gather a flag, water pump, which we need, district center, we need one of those. Lumberjack, another gather a flag, another lumberjack, another farmhouse, another. Okay, we seem to have a lot of gatherers flags, and I bet you're not even doing something, are you? You've got nothing to do, have you? Within. Okay, pause. Okay, so we've definitely got a worker, definitely got two farmers. That's what we want. So then. Oh, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Dino Yoshi, thank you, is now going to build these for us. Oh no, Archangel died of old age. Oh, you served us so well. Thank you, Archangel. You will be missed. Oh, Dino Yoshi, you are doing a great job. So we can see that this one dam is in. We can see the water is going to fill up to here before it runs over, as opposed to down here. And once we've got both of these in then that will be that will be fantastic i am going to up the priority on that and i'm just waiting for another spare beaver somebody to grow up grow up so we can <laughs> so we can get more working done uh, which will be great oh here they come it's now dino yoshi and scorpions helping them out to get all the planks in here I reckon two more trips and it'll be done They're so quick. <laughs> Speedy beavers. And here they come down the track on the last leg. And is this the one they're going to build it before they have to go to bed? No. I think they've just dropped the logs on the floor and decided to go home to bed, haven't they? <laughs> so that didn't increase in the amount of buildingness. Okay, well, we'll wait till tomorrow for that to be finished. Ooh, and it's three days till another drought and it's done. There we go. Excellent. So this is definitely going to help us out. Well, this is only going to half help us out if we get this other one done. And then once we've started working on these things, we can unlock floodgates. There's all sorts of things we can do with water. I've got a plan. I would like to put a massive bit floodgate type thing along here that stops this when it turns into bad water and then we can use these sort of things these floodgates and levees and open them up to let the water go when it needs to and then when it's bad water i've got a plan for that i'm not going to tell you what it is we'll see what that is when we get there oh this stuff looks nasty doesn't it from what i gather uh, we are sort of thousands of years in the future humankind has disappeared off the face of the earth and beavers have taken over i think that's what the law is and this is just nasty stuff that's left over from some of the horrible things that humans built on the earth but you can see it affects the land as well look it all sort of creeps through the land and it will expand i mean it wasn't up here before but now this water's here this bad water it's expanded and if we sort of keep an eye on here we can see how many tiles does that go across one two three four five six seven so we really don't want to be building anything anywhere near this and it spreads out over here as well mm, very very nasty Oh no, Rajan has died of old age as well. Thank you for your service, Rajan. But we have some new baby beavers. This is John Robinson. Leanne, Louise and Mad Hatter. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. And thank you very much for joining us as well. Oh, and there we go. The drought is uh, upon us. So I'm going to put this one as a nothing at the moment. Because we've got all the logs being stored over here, which is fine. There goes the water. And this has dried up as well. And because of that, it didn't have time to back up through here which is fantastic do we have any beavers with nothing to do we're gonna pause the water pumping and i want to really prioritize collecting of the gathering of the stuff so you're just sat in there doing nothing why we've got so much food do you know what i'm gonna pause you and i'm gonna pause this one's already paused these are already paused yeah i want you to come down here and build so we're going to get everybody building. I'm going to prioritize those super high so we can get them done. Drought has ended. Cycle three begins. We haven't quite finished this along here. We really need to start planting our own trees, which I'm thinking we're going to use this area down here. This will eventually become all food. 
So what can we do to get rid of this stuff up here? If I mark removal of these resources up here, so all of these trees that are not trees anymore. There we go, done. And then also, can we cut all of these as well? We can't get up to these ones easily. So yeah, we'll leave that as it is. Well, we're doing okay with the carrots. We can't complain. We've got not enough storage for all the carrots, have we? Oh no, we haven't got enough storage for all the carrots. I'm going to flip this around and we're going to do it like this. That is going to be for our carrots. I want to make sure we always get the carrots out so they don't disappear. Like these ones here have died. We haven't got them out quick enough. So I don't want that to happen anymore. Oh, the last piece of the dam's going in. Look, we can see how it speeds up the water as well, which is something worth keeping in mind that we can manipulate the water, increase the speed for when we start using power wheels. Why are you thirsty? We have all the water in the world. Go and <laughs> grab some water. Look. There's all of this here. Just drink some water. Come on. Is this going in? It's done. Excellent. So now that will sort of level out a bit and we'll start seeing the water to rise up over here, which means there's more available when a drought hits, which is the first step towards surviving the droughts and the bad waters and things like that. Oh, we've had some new baby beavers that have joined us. We've got Mark McGuinness just wandering around over here. Welcome, Mark. We have another Mark. Mark Pimenta, he's joined us as well. Mehmet Ali Baraksan has joined us. And also, not your Thomas, it's me Thomas. Just thinking of increasing our berry storage. We're, we're seeming to sort of get a lot of berries and not enough places to store them. So I'm going to pop a couple of those in there. And I think that will be more berry storage than we're ever going to be able to shake a stick at. Oh, Forrester. We were going to grow trees, weren't we? Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Forrester. That we're going to have to unlock. 60 science. Yes, please. Let's pop that in there. And then what shall we plant? So we've got blueberry. We've got dandelions. We've got birch, pine, chestnut, maple, and oak. I think we're going to go straight for the oak. We're going to sort of bring that down there and fill in any gaps. And then these ones down here, we'll get those removed so we can farm this area out a little bit more better. That's a proper word, honest. Beavers say it all the time. Just thinking if we can increase our well-being at all. Down here in the well-being menu, there's a few things that we can add. We have a campfire, which I think will be very uh, exciting for our beavers. There we go. Excellent. Right by the center. That's not very expensive. I am going to grab that path and we're going to just surround that. I'm probably wasting valuable space, but I think it looks nice. Oh, there it is. Who was that? Mehmet was enjoying our new little campfire. Oh, it's really... Oh, look, there we go. They're loving it. They're loving it. Oh, there we go. Wellbeing has gone up. And we've got somebody who doesn't have a job to do. Um, I'm thinking that once this is built, we're going to make sure that somebody can work in there because we really need to get our tree planting going before that becomes an issue. Oh, didn't realise we need a plank for the forester. Uh, let us unpause that and unpause that and make one more plank. Who's helping us out there, Mark? Thank you very much, Mark and Jay. You are brilliant. We have one plank. I'm now going to pause that and pause that. <laughs> that is literally all we needed. And the forester is in and Mark's decided to go and work over there. Brilliant. So you're going to start getting all of these lovely oak trees planted that are going to give us eight logs per tree every 30 days. I've no idea how many days are in a cycle because I've not been paying attention. But that to me sounds like a lot of locks so we have four beavers without a job at the moment we are going to get the science going uh, which is going to help us out um our water storage is generally doing okay i'll panic more about that when we need to get that going we're going to get our planks going and our power going and then one person left i think we're going to get this gatherer flag going scoop up all of these berries that we're not eating we've got loads over here as well we'll get to those when we can and i think that is going very well oh even just even just looking at this nasty bad water here hovering over our successful so far colony is just it's just making me feel a, a little bit weird it's like making me I, f I feel a little bit faint i feel like i feel like i'm being sucked into a, a vortex to a parallel dimension oh no oh no it's finally happening the bad side is approaching. A lot of our lovely water has been turned into this nasty red goo. It's spreading everywhere. The whole river is completely contaminated. All of our food is dying off. The contamination is spreading into our crops and trees and everything's just dying and disappearing. 
Oh, man, they're all happy to go through the nasty water. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, these poor beavers. Oh, man, spent too much time in the contaminated water. They're going to get sick. This is just going from bad to worse. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, oh, man, my head. I feel like I'm coming out of an alternate reality dimension thing there. What, what's going on? How, how is everybody? Oh, we're, we're fine. Wow, flipping it. Wow, I think we've just seen what could happen to Kettleborn. If you want to see what actually happens, then be sure to stick around for the next episode. We're going to be doing these weekly on a Saturday. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Take care. Bye-bye.